Congratulations on making it to week four of our study, Don't Settle for Christian. Even if there are things that have tried to distract you, you're here today and that's awesome. My name is Linton Broussard. I get to serve as the care pastor here at the Bayou Church. And guess what? By now, you should be able to get a glimpse of the finish line that God has for you in this study. And that's what's really important. See, I know for me, finish lines are important because I've been working on keeping myself healthy. So I've been trying to keep a routine of running at least three times a week. And that can get difficult. Sometimes I run short distances, but sometimes I run long distances. And when it comes to long distances, those are worse for me. But the way that I make it a little bit easier is I always look at a point that's down the road, that's not too far away and just try to get there. And once I get to that point, I look at another point that's not too far down the road and try to get there. And I continue doing that until I'm done. So that's what I wanna encourage you with, even if this gets tough, the next marker, the next week for you is closer to the finish line. So I encourage you to continue to push through. That's what I want to do today, is just encourage you, push through. You might be tired, but push through. You might be discouraged, but push through. It may feel like this thing will go on forever, but push through. And if you've fallen behind on your daily journaling, guess what, that's okay. If you've missed some sessions with your group, that's okay too, it happens. But what's important is to remember that God's not after perfection. All you need to do is just jump back in right where you are. And if you'd like to go back, you can. You can go back and complete those other things later, but that's totally your decision. See, this week we'll be in session four, where we're gonna be reading from Matthew chapter five, verses three through 16. So I wanna give you some encouragement that I get from those verses. See, the way the world sees blessings for me is completely different than what Jesus explains here, which means that I'm blessed by living the opposite of how the world tells me I should live. See, in these verses, there are lots of negative things that can often be seen as hindrances, but each of them offers us a promise that makes that hindrance a path to the life that Jesus died for us to have. It can be very difficult to explain to someone that's really struggling, especially for me with the loss of a loved one. But verse four is one of those verses that speaks directly to them. It says, blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. You know, I use that a lot when I'm speaking to people that are dealing with grief, because you know what? There is a promise, God is there, and Jesus will comfort them as they go through that. And so some of you may not see that right now, but know that that's a promise from God. And so if you're mourning right now for something or someone that you've lost, know that Jesus will comfort you. Another verse of encouragement that I get, one that I'd like to encourage you with is verse seven, which says, blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy. Have you ever had to do something or give mercy to someone that has caused you a lot of pain or changed the course of your life? See, what I want you to know is that God wants you to show that person mercy because that's what he wants for you. So you should do the same for others. And you know what? Sometimes the person that you need to show mercy to is yourself. But regardless of your circumstance, God wants you to be blessed. And when we see that we're blessed, we have the opportunity to live as salt and light in this world. That's what verses 13 through 16 talk about. When we see that in spite of our difficulties, God promises good things for us. He promises that we will be blessed and it changes how we view ourselves. It changes how we view our lives and it changes how we view the lives of those around us. This changes the way we think, the way we behave and the things that we do. And those actions impact not just our lives but the lives of everyone else. And that impact becomes about Christ, not about us. This is when we truly become salt and light. And that's what I want for you today. So I hope you enjoy your study. But before we get to that, let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this awesome study that we get to do today as we discuss verses from the Sermon on the Mountain, chapter five of Matthew. God, I pray that today someone will realize that those hindrances, those difficulties are truly things that you will use to bless them. And in turn, they can use those things to bless others because ultimately it's about you and your son, Jesus Christ, and not about them. So God, I thank you that they are here today. I thank you that we get to go through this study together as a church. And I pray that you move powerfully in this group today. We love you and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thank you all so much for joining us in this discussion today. I hope you have a great discussion. Now we're gonna pass it along to your leaders. Yeah.